are you, Governor? You look crooked as a dog. Can you give me an Abigail, man. Just got back from America. I'll be in the office tomorrow. No, no need. I'm handling things. What about your brother? That's Murdoch's London son. Page three. Son averages three and a half tits a day. Shit. Well, this is something to be proud of, is it? I wouldn't wrap my fish in chips on it. Well, it's doubled in circulation. Everyone said it was that death store, and Murdoch brought it back. Now, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Dad, we need to modernise the telegraphs. Well, this type of smut. Well, what do we do? It's losing money every day. Don't you dare let you know about business, boy. Maybe I know bugger all about making a newspaper. That's right. What I do know, if you make something and no one wants to buy it, you either turn it into something they will buy, or you stop making it. It's losing money. How do you know? I looked at your books. Nobody looks at my books! I still run this bloody company! You want to shut down my telegraph, don't you, you gutless sock? No, I don't want to shut it down. There are people who are willing to pay good money for it. Which people? Who? You know who. He doesn't get my paper! It's my paper! I'm not dead yet, you bastard! Clyde? Hey. I'd like you to meet my dear friend, Mike. Mike? Mike Wilson? Yes. Hello. Mike has an idea for a show. We already have a current affairs show. Well, this will be uh, different. Less uh, reverential. Less boring. Yes, much less boring. <laughs> On TDT, you have the freedom to do what you want. Why would you walk away from that? Ah, well, it's Bill Peach's show. I want my own. Well, come and see me at Park Street. <laughs> I think we want it. Ah, Adrian, hope I'm not interrupting anything. Not at all. Sit down. Sit down. It would be helpful if you rang me about what is in the newspaper. But you're running two newspapers on the other side of the world. No, I'm running 83 newspapers, and all I need you to get right is one of them. OK, Rupert. Each one is hocked against all the others. And if even one of them goes down, then they all will. Look, I'm just a phone call away. I'm just a little concerned that the Australian's focus on uh, protest and the social issues is unappealing to a broad readership. Well, the circulation is still growing. We've more than doubled it since I took on the editorship. Yes, but maybe it's these other younger editors bringing their agendas. I mean, you know these guys would be trying to run the place if you give them an inch. Look, Rupert, I trust my editors. I get the best work from them that way. Well. You're the editor-in-chief. So, tell me about Fraser's fight with uh, Gorton. Feels like the government's falling apart. I'm not convinced that Gorton is the best man for Prime Minister anymore. What do you think? So, are we supporting Gorton or not? Just state the facts, Adrian. Did you hire that Willisley bloke? Yeah. I don't want anybody from the ABC. Well, he's already hired. Yeah, you know why they call the ABC, don't you? Yeah, because they're, they're all right. bloody commos. <laughs> so, unhire him. Dad, we need to make new shows. Oh, with yeah. people in them that are names that audiences want to watch. So this is all part of your grand plan, is it? Genius? To communise Channel 9? No, the plan is to make shows that audiences actually tune into. What show? What? Well, what shows are you commo mate going to be on? A current affair. Oh, we've already got a current affair, shall no. A current affair. Five nights a week. Oh, that won't bloody last. Well, can we at least give it a shot?
Yeah, all right. If you're going to be bloody stubborn about it, we'll give it a go. Hey, look at this. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Front page of Murdoch's Australian. Gorton fights to survive. See that? Even Murdoch hates the bastard. Give his hand up. Come on. Come on. Hey, this is it. This is our chance to give Billy a run. Hey, strike while the iron's hot. What do you want us to do? I don't know. Put him on your new commo current of air shaft. It won't be ready. It's not going to be ready for a couple of weeks. Why not? It won't be. We can use me to press, though. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll get Alan Reid onto it. Right. He knows how to start a fire, eh? <laughs> Alan Reid, will the Liberal Party do anything about Gordon's position? Well, that depends on what the Minister for Army, Mr Fraser, does. If he resigns, then there may be a revolt against Mr Gordon's leadership. Gordon's already made many enemies within the party. And the test here is with Mr Fraser. If, if he accepts this, he becomes, henceforward, a puppet. Dad! Come in here! You know what that bloody Gough Whitlam said? Ah, oh, who keeps the stuff what that clown says? Look at this, hey? McMahon, new PM. We did this, hey? Us! That's what he said. Hey. Gough bloody Whitlam! He said the pack of press, they run this country and have decided to get Mr Gordon out of office. He said that. Yes. Very low on the place, then. It's a bit of all right. <laughs> so then what about Murdoch? Hmm? It's becoming quite matey with Whitlam. Oh, no, stuff, Murdoch. Can Murdoch do this? No. It's us. Gero. We made the Prime Minister. Now, we've talked about politics, we've talked about the paper. Have we? Let's talk about you. About me? Yes, now, you know I respect your skills very much. Um, perhaps there's somewhere else in the company we could uh, better use them. Not as editor of The Australian? Well, maybe somewhere else. Look, Rupert, I like being editor. I think it's the best, maybe the only place for me. Right, all right then. Thanks, Adrian. You send May in. Dima has to go. The Australians become unbalanced. I've already called Bruce Rothwell. He's coming in in the morning. We'll get him set up. Yeah, I'm not having that bloody comma on the station. Which comma this time? Bob Hawke. Who told you? I know everything. You got bloody spies at the station. Uh, whose idea was it? It was that clown, Willisy, wasn't it? Hey? No, it was mine. We have to at least appear to be balanced. I run this company and I don't have to do anything. Am I the manager here? Yes. Rosie, can you get Mike sent up here, please? Look, you're not listening to me, son. Clyde, listen. Bob Hawke is too smart for the Channel 9 interviewers. Yeah, well, that's probably the fault of the interviewers. Look, Mike will be here in a second. You can tell him. Well, I'm not dealing with him. I'm dealing with the bloody manager. All right, so... Hello, uh, Sir Frank. He's not going on the bloody television show. Who's not going on the show? We're not having Bob Hawke on a current affair. Yeah, there you go. But you said I'd be independent. Look, am I the manager here? I said he's not on the show. Right, All right, well, then I think I'd better quit. <laughs> yeah. Well, good on you, Mike. Yeah, good on you. Off you go. Hey. Hurry up. <laughs> See that? That's it. Yeah. The end of it. All right. Good. Well done, boy. I quit too. Wait. What do you mean? You quit. I quit. You get out then. Get out! Get out then!
Frank. But he come here with them. You got him out of here. It's bloody Bobby Lim. He works for me. Jesus Christ. Where's he? Look at this, but Gary. You watching this? Mm-hmm. Well, he works for me, so does she. Well, I'm paying these bastards. Dad. I'm paying them to be trucking with that communist Whitlam. Well, this wouldn't be happening if Clyde was running things. Get it off. Take it off the air. Gary. You hang up on me. of Australia, the decision we will make for our country on the 2nd of December is a choice between the past and the future. Wearing that to shit the old man. No. It's easier than losing weight. What can I do for you? You quit. Yes. Well, now I have to do everything. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. What are you doing here? You know about my magazine? Cleo? Yeah. Cleo. What is this thing of yours? Four. You think I'm starting a magazine with my own money just to get back at you? Well, I wouldn't blame you. I just want to be my own boss. I just wonder why you're doing something so similar to what I'm doing. Zeitgeist. Fucking what? Coincidence. Mate, they're not that similar. What's clear? What's a magazine for modern women? Right. Women's Weekly without the knitting. The forum's much more adult than that. What, oh, porno? <laughs> it's a journal of human relations. To no sex, then. It's about sex, discussing it. That's what Cleo is doing. Forums for men and women. It's a different market. The main difference is it's not going to get second guessed by the old man. Fair enough. <clears throat> How is the old man? Well, he's sick as a dog. Oh, one more thing. I, uh, I hired back Mike Willsey for a current affair. I can't say I'm surprised. Do you ever watch it? What? The station. No, nah, mate. I've got a life now. I watch it all the time. I like it. Have you seen your brother Clyde? I saw him the other day. Is he going to stop being such a big sook and come back and work with me? I don't know, Dad. Maybe you need to ask him yourself. Yes. How much do the telegraphs lose every year? Oh, a million? Stop looking at my books. I'm not selling them. All right, then. You don't sell them. We need to start an afternoon newspaper. Huh? The press is standing idle are what's killing us. Don't be stupid, Kerry. We can't compete against the... Yeah. Mirror. The mirror? The sun? Why not? They have to be madness. Well, what do you think we get for them? <laughs> Maybe even 10 million? Oh. Not much. Just test the waters then. Give me the phone. Place a phone call for me to London, the Rupert Murdoch. Right, eh? Rupert, <coughs> Sir Frank Parker. How are you? <laughs> Fit as a fiddle. Just uh, been talking business with Kerry. And uh, we were just uh, talking about the telegraphs. Well, we thought uh, maybe the three of us would get together and uh, maybe see a fight at the Horton Pavilion on, when you're back. Yeah, good eye, Rupert. Okay. Good work, Dad. 
things you have to work to do. Mm. Where's Sir Frank? Is he in the car? No, he's sick as a dog. Ah, and Clive? Oh, he's on a little bit of a sabbatical. Hmm. Don't you trust me? Oh, no, it's not the company. Uh, to be honest, I'd prefer to be with you. But, um, just a few years ago, I was discussing the possibility of buying... Ruben, he's really fucking sick. Hmm. Hmm. Well, should we go and watch a couple of big buffheads punch the shit out of each other? Yes, let's. It's a habit. I knew you'd be up. And what is it? You and Ross have a fight. No, 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 nothing like that. I've just been talking to your mate, Rupert. He's not my mate. Well, I just sold him the telegraphs. Bullshit. What about the old man? What about him? Paper loses a million dollars every year. And your mate, Rupert, offered me $15 million for him. Dad loves them. More than he loves us. Well, it's just business. That's what he'd say. There is no sentiment in business. I just thought you'd want to know. Yeah, that's right. Telegraphs from the packets. I got it. I took it from it. Mm -hmm. That's that's great news. Uh, can I call you later? Oh, oh, no, 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 of course. Of course, darling. All right. Yes, bye-bye. Okay. Oh, hello. It's uh, Robert Murdoch here. I'd like to speak with Mr. Whitlam, please. Golf, how are you? Good, good. Guess what I just bought? Prime Minister. Didn't know I'd be seeing you today. Hello, Rufat. I don't know if you've met Sonia. No, I haven't had a pleasure. How are you? Shall we go in? Of course. Sir Frank, without your support, we've little chance of winning this election. Do you mean the sale of the newspaper? Yes, I mean the newspaper. Well, surely, Prime Minister, you agree that um, your prospects are entirely in the hands of ordinary voters? Well, of course. And I'm sure you agree that the ordinary voters' opinions can be swayed by the views of the press. All right, come on, Rupert. Rupert, just shake Billy's hand, will you? Give me your assurance that the Daily Telegraph will treat the government fairly in its editorials. Come on. No, he won't, no matter what he says. You shut up. Rupert. 
Oh, you might make yourself at home. You know everything. Is. Do you remember that tennis match? No, you don't, man. You invited me here to play tennis, and then you humiliated me. Do you remember that, Sir Frank? I do. I sold you the telegraphs. They're more than just mastheads. I'm giving you a lot of power. So, Frank, you don't have any power to give. I can promise you, Prime Minister, that uh, you'll be treated as fairly as you deserve. There he is, the boy publisher. Gary, why didn't you come in? <laughs> oh, Rupert, it was your time. You won. No, no, it's just business. It's maximizing the use of the product. Rupert, you won. Enjoy it. It's just business, Kerry. Mm -hmm. And business is about winning, isn't it? Whitlam will be pleased. Why is that? You can use all your papers to get him elected. Oh, no, I'd never use the media like that. Really? I would. Listen, you want to come for a drink? Don't drink. Just wanted to congratulate you, that's all. I'm going home to watch some telly. OK. Channel 9? Of course. Of course. Oh, boy. Henry. He's my beautiful boy. Dad! Is that you, Clyde? Kerry. Oh, it's Kerry. Have you seen the new surveys? The ratings. Well, what do I have? Nine's back on top. Uh, it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, I mean, if people just listen to me in the first place, you know. Bloody TV, eh? It's not even real. Not even something you can hold. You should celebrate. Have a drink. A drink of what? Whatever you want. How about a cup of tea? Any way you want. What are you talking about? Florence will put you to bed. Good night. It's a good to have a drink with me, eh? You and Murdoch? Stab me in the back. Have a good night, Dad. You must be pleased. What do you mean? No, he's just like you. It's Rupert here. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Goff. Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch. Yeah? Is he? Are you sure he understands who it is? All right.
I know you're leaving It's too long overdue For far too long I've had nothing new To shout to you Goodbye dry eyes I watched your flame Fade off west of the moon And it felt so strange Walk away alone There's no regrets No tears goodbye I don't want you back We'd only cry Say goodbye Rupert here, how are you? Listen, I've just been going over the papers and um, I think I've been a bit soft on Whitlam. What do you think? Well, may we say, God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor General. Say goodbye.